Okay, welcome in social online class, everyone. Uh, today we are going to read from lesson 5.7. Lesson 5.7, look here. Today's lesson uh, is uh, lesson 5.7, 5.7, okay. And a uh, major topic was like this rule of law. It means in Nepali, kanun ko sasan. Okay, kanun ko sasan, vidhi ko sasan. Uh, there are some terminology in Nepali also. Vidhi ko sasan, athava kanun ko sasan. In English, rule of law. Uh, rule uh, on the basis of law. If any government, any leader, you know, rule the nation. If any mayor, deputy mayor, rule the nation, rule the municipality. Uh, people of the municipality, uh, I mean, uh, people living in the particular municipality's territory on the basis of law, it is known as rule of law, okay? Its definition and everything I brought uh, for all of you today in this slide, okay? Uh, in this slide, look here. First of all, let's try to know what is rule of law. Let's try to know the definition of rule of law, okay? What is rule of law? Vidhi ko sasan bane ko ki ho? Kanun ko sasan bane ko ki ho? Okay, it means, look here, rule of law means, rule of law means, uh, rule according to established laws. If there is rule to the people by ruler, if there is rule by the king or prime minister and minister uh, according to the established laws according to the established rules according to the regulation uh, it is known as rule of law yes to rule the people of the nation on the basis of existing laws rules and regulation is known as rule of law should i describe again i think i should then describe and define again uh, one second Okay, look here. Uh, to rule the nation and people living in a particular nation by the ruler, like prime minister, president, on the basis of existing laws, established laws, rule of uh, rule of uh, rule of the country or regulation of that particular country is known as rule of law. Now look here. Next uh, information, rest information goes like this. Mm, rule of law is uh, durable system of laws. It means wherever president, prime minister, you know, rule the nation, mayor, deputy mayor, rule the nation, you know, chief minister and or minister of provincial government, rule the nation according to the rule of law, okay, uh, by implementing the rule of law strictly and honestly. Uh, there, what shall happen? That government also becomes durable and such system also become durable one, long lasting one. Even institution, norms, community, commitment that delivers accountability. Wherever is rule of law, uh, there, you know, even institution, different organization, norms and values of the society, even community, you know, uh, they all actually look responsible. They carry out their duties uh, honestly, strictly, you know, on time. It is called accountability also, okay? But wherever is not law, rule of law, it is actually um, lawlessness, okay? Kanun bihinta, jache kanun ko sasan chayna, jundes ma kanun ko sasan chayna, the institution, organization, government, prime minister, president, you know, all actually violate the rules, the regulation, laws, you know, break the laws and, you know, involve in corruption, you know, uh, involved in corruption and you know promote the different uh, social evil problems and so on. Therefore, rule of law is very much necessary for durable, uh, durable system of laws and for a durable institution uh, for community commitment and so on. Government as well as private uh, sectors are also yes, sectors, not actors. Private sectors are accountable under the law. Government also. Uh, loots are found accountable, responsible, you know, to the citizen uh, under the law. You know, we, from the government, we elect the leaders through the election and uh, make the government new government in order to get more facilities from such government. 
facilities of state form such so government you know that now therefore if there is rule of law a government also will have a compulsion to do so many works for welfare of the people so many project it has a compulsion to launch the for the welfare of the people uh, to provide the state facilities to the people on time okay more information regarding rule of law there was rana autocratic rule in nepal you know that there was rana autocratic rule in nepal it means there was rule of rana there was rana rule in nepal where rana were all in all they were all in all they were above the constitution and law if they used to, uh, if they uh, violated you know any constitution and laws they wouldn't be punished they couldn't be punished they were above the constitution whatever they used to speak it used to change into laws it used to walk as a laws only poor people used to be punished put into prison if they committed any sort of criminal activities uh, during the autocratic rule during the rana rule and there was not rule of law at that time so there was not rule of law because rana prime minister rana family member were above the constitution they couldn't be punished they couldn't be, they uh, they couldn't be put into prison you know but at present what is there in this modern time uh, at present in this modern time these days what is there uh, rule is uh, you know implemented i mean all are punishable if they crime if they commit any sort of crime like if pn to uh, pm yeah. pn also if commit any sort of crime he is also punishable if prime minister also commit any crime he is also punishable he can be also put into prison if rich people commit um, commit any sort of crime uh, or poor it doesn't matter both will be punishable similarly uh, either i caste or low caste commit yeah. any sort of uh, criminal activities they in a society or nation both i caste or low caste it doesn't matter both are punish the both should be imprisoned there it is they are imprisoned there put into prison there they are punished there because at present there is rule of law in our nation to the great extent not completely there is uh, we can feel rule of law in nation because till now nirmala pant you know 13 year old 13 year old teenager girl who was raped by some unknown people okay Uh, till now uh, those actually rapes are found in this nation it means what to some extent in our nation also there is not uh, found rule of law if there was rule of law they could be taken into the custody uh, you know uh, uh, you know after few more after few days or a few months uh, when it actually when that actually incident took place there in western part of nepal look it means Uh, there is rule of law at present uh, but uh, to some extent sometime it seems as if there is not rule of law in nepal as well till now uh, and wherever is democratic country wherever is democratic rule whichever country is democratic country whichever country has democracy there must be rule of law without without you know democracy we can imagine um, there rule of law wherever is democracy there must be rule of law and wherever is rule of law there must be democracy these are important look here next uh, next sub topic major elements of rule of law what are the major elements of rule of law or elements major elements mukhya tatva vidhi ka shasan ka kanun ka shasan ka mukhya tatva ke ke according to british jurist here yeah, jurist means look here jurist means lawyer yes judge Men, no lawyer, judge. Okay, British jurist, uh, uh, jurist was lawyer and judge, uh, and a constitutional theorist. Uh, constitutional theorist. He had actually propounded so many theories uh, regarding constitution, outright constitution. What sort of what should be mentioned there as a major element of constitution? Which um, is a British jurist uh, was a very much popular for that. He was theorist of constitution as well. Uh, his name uh, goes like this: Albert Van Dyke, constitutional theorist Albert Van Dyke, a British jurist or lawyer or judge Albert uh, Albert Van Dyke. According to him, you know, uh, rule of law must consist of three elements. Three elements. Uh, what are those three elements? Number one, supremacy of law. 
okay. supremacy of law. Uh, it means uh, in a supreme position, in the top position, there is law. And under the law, there are a minister, a prime minister, president, a government official, a civil servant, teacher, a trader, a businessman, uh, and ordinary people, farmer, and so on. You know. On the top, what is there? There is law. It means uh, nobody can violate the laws. It is, uh, it is in its supreme position. Therefore, it is not a supremacy of laws. According to, uh, according to you know, Albert Van Dyke, this is the first element of uh, rule of law. It means sarbhutsata ke kanun ar ko sarbhutsata. Kanun bata nathi koi pani una sabbhai na. Neither president, nor prime minister, nor trader, nor teacher, neither student nor ordinary people. All, if they commit any sort of crime, they must be punished uh, according to the law, existing law of the particular nation. Similarly, look here, second element, okay, element of the rule of law was like this, equality before laws. All are equal before law. High caste or low caste, rich or poor, you know, trader or businessman, a student or a teacher, prime minister or president, it doesn't matter. All are equal in the eye of law. It means, uh, you know, law cannot discriminate anyone. Even uh, suppose teacher and student have committed same sort of crime, suppose murder. Yes, both a teacher also or a student also has suppose murder a person. They are in different places, you know. Uh, for a student, you know, uh, other than an other kind of law or a, you know, less punishment, and for a teacher, uh, you know, that more punishment, it won't be there. You know, that in the eye of law, both student and teacher are equal, president and prime minister are equal, ordinary people and uh, prime minister are equal. This is the second element of rule of law. Similarly, third element of rule of law goes like this constitution. The sources of law. Kanun ko srod bani ko kiyo samidhan ho. Isn't it? This is the third element of third element of source of law. I mean element of rule of law. Third element of rule of law is constitution, the source of laws. It means you know that every laws must be, must depend on constitution. Constitution is the main law of the nation, supreme law of the nation. You know that every nation has constitution and that is main law of that nation. And on the basis of that main law of that nation or constitution of that nation, what should be done there? Uh, laws related with different sector, raw laws necessary for health sector, education sector, tourism sector, communication sector, transportation sector should be formulated and written there. On what basis? On the basis of constitution. Therefore, uh, you know, constitution is the source of law and it is the third element, very much important element of rule of law. Okay, this was only our answer regarding the rule of law. Simply keep in mind, uh, rule of law uh, consists of three elements and those goes like this, uh, supremacy of laws, equality before laws, constitution, the source of laws. Now let's go to the third slide. The third subtopic also has come in front of us, look here. Uh, it's essential of rule of laws. What require, you know, what is necessary? What is necessary? It means what is the main need of the rule of law? What require the, uh, what, what is required there to maintain rule of law in a particular nation? Punepani desma kanunko sasan maintain garna lai ki ati awasek sa? What does require there is a major you know, necessity of for maintaining rule of law. Look here. Number one, what does require there? They require separation of power and balance of power. Yes, there must be power. Yeah, power means state power, Rajyaku Sakti. State power must be separated among the major three organs of the government. Executive. You know, legislature and judiciary, Nayapalika, Karyapalika, Ra, Bevastapika. 
state power must be divided, uh, divided, uh, separated uh, with each other. And uh, their power also should be what? Their balance, their power. Uh, those uh, legislature is also independent, should be independent one organ of the government. Similarly, executive also should be independent organ of the government. Similarly, judiciary also must be uh, independent and uh, as powerful as other organ of the government. It is called separation of power and balance of government. It means, you know, that uh, separating the state power among judiciary, it means Supreme Court, 77 district court, uh, and so on. Similarly, executive means Nepal government, you know, state power should be given to them equally. Okay, there should be balance usually while giving them power. Similarly, limited government, uh, in order to maintain the rule of law, there should be actually limited number of government. That means uh, you know, that government, the number of government should be limited or government should be given limited power. Okay. Similarly, look here, good governance, uh, in order to maintain rule of law, there must be good governance. Uh, good governance, uh, what is good governance? We have uh, studied on it, uh, discussed on it in the previous lesson last time. Uh, the fair working manner of you know, government is known as good governance. It means government has to uh, rule the nation fairly. Yes, uh, if, uh, if the prime minister and minister, you know, cabinet doesn't rule the nation fairly, then they can be maintained the rule of law. In order to maintain the rule of law, their the, uh, go, government, uh, whichever political party has formed government has to uh, rule the nation fairly. At present, there is Sarbadar Deva, uh, his prime minister, he has formed the government in Nepal. He has to, uh, you know, that rule the nation fairly, impartially, without discriminating any citizen, political parties, government official, if he, if he wants to maintain rule of law if he wants to continue his government. Similar look here, independent and efficient judiciary. Uh, in order to maintain rule of law, uh, there should be uh, independent existence of judiciary. Nyaya palika ko chukkai swatantra astitta unnu karcha. And there must be efficient judiciary too. It means there should be powerful, independent, you know that Supreme Court, District Court, High Court should be there in a particular nation to maintain the rule of law. Otherwise, can't be maintained the rule of law there. Wherever judiciary, it means Supreme Court, uh, Supreme Court 77 District Court, uh, 7 High Court are collectively known as judiciary. If judiciary uh, is influenced by the, interfere by the government, it means executive, they cannot be uh, found the rule of law. They cannot be realized the rule of law. Therefore, uh, what should be there? Supreme Court, High Court, District Court uh, should have a right to carry out their functions efficiently without any interference, interference from the government side. And uh, there, they should be independent as well. Similarly, there must be transparency and accountability in government activities, government project, uh, in the government office, you know, there should be transparency, there should be accountability. It means all the government official, prime minister, home minister, you know, whole cabinet, legislature, it means parliament, similarly, uh, all the civil servant, I already have told you, they must uh, work transparently and they must respond, they must be responsible to their citizen. They have to do every work for the welfare of the citizen welfare of the ordinary people of the nation. It is called transparency and accountability. If it is done there, if it is maintained there, there can be realized that there is rule of law in the nation. Similarly, guarantee of human rights. Uh, another essential, very much important, you know, very much important uh, things of rule of law is guarantee of human rights. Manav adhikar ko su Yes, human uh, people of particular nation must have got the uh, human rights. It means fundamental rights, okay? Fundamental rights, like uh, right to education, right to speech, right to wealth, right to religion, women's rights, children's rights. Uh, you know that there are so many rights. Altogether, 31 rights has been mentioned in our present constitution. You might know those all come under human rights as we have born on this beautiful earth in this Nepal as a human being. 
we have a right to exercise those fundamental rights, those human rights. If any country citizen cannot exercise their human rights, such as the right to education or right to property or right to religion, there cannot be there cannot be uh, rule of law. But wherever is the rule of law, there people can exercise the each and every human rights uh, independently. You know that without any sort of interference. Similarly, look here periodic election. Uh, in order to maintain the rule of law, there must be held the election every five years to, uh, you know, to get the press mandate from the citizen, press mandate from the people. Uh, you know, every political party has to take part in election every five years to get the press mandate from the citizen, press mandate from the uh, people so that they can form the uh, press government, new government there to rule the na nation, rule the people you know, uh, fairly. Therefore, election is one of the very essential thing of the rule of law. Without election, if any government is uh, ruling there for several years, like in North Korea, there is in North Korea, they uh, hardly take place, uh, you know, election because there is rule of, there is autocratic rule, uh, there is not freedom, there is not democracy, there doesn't happen election. Therefore, we can believe that there is rule of law in uh, North Korea. But in our nation, there are there is held election, therefore, to some extent, there is rule of law in our nation. Look here, equality and equity. It means samantara, samata. These must be exercised and maintained there in a nation, particular nation, to maintain rule of law. Wherever is rule of law, Jundesma Kanun Kusasan, sir, all people are equally treated, and even poor, uh, backward communities, you know. Uh, and scheduled classes, ethnic communities get the uh, special, you know, special facilities inside of women to uplift their, to improve their uh, condition in the nation. It is called equity, yes. Uh, to help the poor, to give a special preference by government to the poor, women, children, backward communities uh, is known as equity. Uh, but if government actually give uh, you know that freedom to uh, the competition for achieving any sort of uh, you know government job or other things uh, you know uh, in the nation if such provision is there if such actually system has been developed in the nation it is called equality yes equality okay now another sub topic is here importance of rule of law what are the importance of rule of law it means what are the benefits of rule of law? Another term also you can use here. What are the advantages of rule of law? Canon ko sasan bhaiyo bani aam. Like ki fayda aam chan. Kone pani desh kanun bada chadi lahe ko chha bani, chali rahe ko chha bani. Ki hun chha? Like ki fayda aam chha? Yedhi aam ni tiyudesh ka nagari phamo bani. Yes, look here. Democratic and accountable government is firm. Where ever is rule of law? Okay, where ever is maintained rule of law? Uh, which of a country, wherever, I mean, which of a country doesn't have any people above the constitution, uh, uh, wherever actually isn't violated uh, the uh, laws, uh, laws by any people, prime minister, president, trader, teacher, anyone. There, what shall happen? There can be from democratic government. There can be from accountable government. The accountable government, responsible government towards the citizen. Yes, people can make the government uh, according to their desire and wish, uh, if there is rule of law. Uh, there is end of lawlessness, canon bihinta. People never feel that there is not law, there is not government. People never feel that. But sometime in our nation, we feel that there may not be government, there may not be laws, there may not be police uh, to punish the culprit, criminal. Uh, many times I have given you the example, same example, Nirmala Pantha, her murder, you know. Uh, uh, till now, her actually, who actually murdered her isn't found. Those criminals aren't taken into the custody by the police. That means, uh, what is the deal? Uh, at this time, uh, you know, at this time, parents of her, Nirmala, I mean, parents of Nirmala Pantha might be feeling that there may not be a law in our nation, there is lawlessness. There may not be government, strong government to find out the culprit and take them into the custody. Similarly, look here, 
another importance of rule of law is there is a peace and stability wherever is rule of law uh, they are they are never uh, take place they hardly take place conflict violence in the nation and even government become stable but in our nation uh, to some extent there is not a rule of law because um, uh, one example i can give you uh, kp sharma only couldn't continue his uh, rule he couldn't continue he couldn't uh, save his post of prime minister although he was elected for five year he couldn't rule the, this nepal for five year because there is political instability in our nation you know uh, very very rule of law there doesn't happen it okay they do not change the government frequently similarly look here people feel ownership in the government uh, very very rule of law they what uh, do people uh, feel people feel that which the government is from there that government belongs to them what in our nation what is there in our nation generally we feel that there is government of nepali congress i am belong to papai mali or i am from the maoist party in this way people talk about the government people actually comment the government people criticize the government if people um, if the there is government from from their own political party they appreciate and admire the government and uh, throughout the day and night you know all the time but if there is a form government um, of another political party uh, people waste their time people kill their time by criticizing the government they put in our nation i can think that there is rule of law very very rule of law people think that which the government is from there it is their own government similarly another important you know that uh, another advantage of rule of law is people get fair justice people get justice if they are exploited suppressed or discriminated in the nation in the society in the family they get fair justice as soon as possible similarly public welfare is promoted all the public here public means all the citizen uh, in our nepal there are about 3 crore nepalese people all will get you know that facilities from the side of government because of rule of law they yeah, should get but uh, we have on that you know that if there is rule of law in a nation what shall happen there actually prevail harmony there are there actually there prevail progress there actually prevail prosperity all over the nation in the each and every family all looks happy all um, are found earning huge amount of money every month all actually are actually found um, uh, living in uh, i mean maintaining a high living standard if there is rule of law they put these are the some importance of rule of law uh, look here now we have 8 minutes um, there is a left at minute only so i am in the last one slide as well look here obstacle of rule of law and method of promotion definitely every citizen every government uh, you know want to maintain rule of law there want to maintain rule of law there want to rule the nation fairly there but there occurs uh, there occurs so many obstacles on the way while ruling the nation okay while ruling the nation prime minister faces so many obstacles there uh, you know therefore what happens there those actually occur there is a obstacle of rule of law drawbacks of rule of law you can see and how those can be solved such obstacle which uh, occurs there you know, while ruling the nation which disturb the rule of law uh, you, you know that how can be solved here are some ideas look here number one political instability political instability is the major obstacle of the main obstacle of the rule of law if government keep changing there there was a government of kp sharma only at present there is government of sherbadur deva sherbadur deva also may not be able to continue his government and then madhav kumar nepal may come on the post of prime minister he may also may not continue to uh, post of prime minister it is called political instability so in this way if they keep on changing government in a particular nation frequently you know time and again you know uh, there can be maintained rule of law therefore it is the main obstacle of rule of law and uh, such political instability can be solved by you know that solved by uh, electing stable government in the nation through the election 
by holding election by electing uh, powerful leader yes and uh, by electing the by giving vote to the uh, best political party uh, we can what what we can do we can maintain the rule of law mm -hmm. this actually role can be played by ordinary citizen in order to maintain the political stability in the nation for rule of law we have to give the vote to the best political leaders uh, from the best political party similar look here another obstacle of rule of law was like this why despite corruption there is corruption all over the nation uh, every civil servant most of the civil servants have involved in corruption and they have a silent network of uh, corruption uh, so therefore this is the second major obstacle of rule of law and in order to alleviate it in order to minimize this we have to government has to activate cia you know that commission for investigation of abuse of authority it should be uh, mobilized there police should be mobilized there uh, course uh, i mean judiciary supreme court 77 high court seven court should be actively mobilized there to punish the corrupt leader corrupt civil servant number 3 unaware citizen unaware citizen it means uh, you know that asachet nagarik bhanum na haina jasma chetanai chaina manishar na it means uh, citizen are not aware of these all things political instability corruption and so on you know therefore people should be given especially what doesn't have i mean what people are lacking there people are lacking political knowledge therefore people should be given political knowledge there political knowledge there how political parties from what is the uh, objective of political party what are the responsibilities of political party this should be talked to the citizen the afterwards only uh, ordinary citizen can raise voice again the political party which is creating disorder in the nation which is violating the rule in the nation and uh, creating obstacle for rule of law